Hello, and welcome back to another Pen Talk. Thanks for tuning in. Thanks for following me as I explore the wide world of fountain pens. And it is a wide global, with a lot of variety, world of fountain pens. So you may say, those two pens on a turntable on crabs look kind of familiar, but they're different. And yes, they are. I had done a video on ordering pens from Amazon. So these are two pens from AliExpress. And they happen to be the same model as the ones I ordered from Amazon, just in different colors. So we have the Q1 here in purple, which completes my series of five Q1s. And here we have the Hongdian 1845 with the rhodium slash silver color finish. And I have to admit that both of these pens are great. The Hongdian pen has a fine nib, and we'll see that right a little bit later on. But I thought we would just explore a little bit of buying on AliExpress. See if that's something you might be comfortable with. From my perspective, there's a lot of fountain pens that are only available on AliExpress, not on eBay. I don't have access to Tobu, and Tobu Focus is not something that I enjoy using, as, as many people discuss, because they're freight forwarders. So you buy from them, they try to buy from Tobu, and then ship it to you. So there's a lot of extra shipping, a lot of delay. And if they go to order it and it's not available on, on Tobu, you've already paid and you go through that process. But that's not the purpose of this video. So let's go to AliExpress and see how I work it. And we're going to just zoom in a little bit just so you can appreciate some of the detail in these two pens and I have to admit that the level of quality is great and the crabs agree they enjoy holding up these two great pens one's big one's heavy they will wink and we will go on A little tease on writing we'll get into more detail later on in the video so let's take a quick look at aliexpress this is the uh, intro page let's do mahjong and let's see what could you see there's a fountain pens and we'll do a search and it comes up pretty good of course my amazon assistant pops up and says oh by the way this stuff is on amazon too which helps me out as you can see, there's a really large selection of Mahjong pens on this site. And there's the purple one, similar to what I ordered on Amazon, but at a, at a lower price. The other thing that I like to do is I have my favorite stores. And this... St. Pen PPS Chinese Pen Store is Bobby's store on AliExpress. I'm going to put a link in the video description so you can access this. And I think this is a good place to start. Bobby has a great selection. You know, his items are bundled deals, deals by category, new arrivals, picked for you. And this is, you know, I can say when you start exploring, you can take a look at that. So we can say here's the... Jin Hao 100 in black. So if we'll click on that, we'll see the pen come up. You can um, zero in on it, change your views. You know, again, very similar to the other types of online uh, sites. If we scroll down, you'll see some other things and some more recommendations. So what this does is takes you into a new category. And let's just click on this at random. Again, we're in the same, we're in our store, and this is a very interesting pen with a gold nib. He has a number of pens with uh, a gold nib. I'm assuming that's why it's $85. If we scroll down, 
uh, no real description. So it was an interesting thing to look at. But I just enjoy perusing, seeing what's available, um, and whether it's something that would interest me. Oh, so let's look for something that he recently posted on Instagram. And there's the pen. Here's the Instagram posting. And you can follow Bobby on Instagram too. I'll put that link in descriptions. So this is a, a new pen by Marjong, formerly Moon Man. And this is a nice piston pen with an ink window. Very nicely done with a metal band on either side of it. This has some interesting designs in it. And you can see you can order it with original box. It costs you $3 more. I would generally buy these without the box. You know, it's a standard Moon Man box. I got more than I need of those. And there's also shipping involved here. Not everything is free shipping, so you got to take that into account when you look at your total cost of the pen. You know, you can add it to your cart. Continue shopping, view shopping cart. Uh, and as you can see, I like this pen. You know, color A here, color black here. So th that's one of the interesting things about it. You select all and now it'll total them up. Pay shipping and I'm also going to pay tax on this. And it shows you various payment methods. I use my Amex card here because I'm comfortable with that. Here's a Jinhao 100 with a gold nib for those that might be interested in it. You know, I, I just find this uh, to be just an interesting site to explore, to learn th new things about pens. And this is also uh, a different store, pen supplier store. So enjoy. I mean, explore, see what works with you. I'm going to do uh, a separate Q1 video showing all the five Q1s that I have and discussing why I like the pen so much. So we're going to focus on the 1845 for the rest of this video. And like I've said, very substantial functional clip, really nice finial. Let's uncap. One, two, up. Oh just about three, so half a turn less than the black and gold one, which is interesting. And we'll see a pen that fits well in the hand. We're going to give you the dimensions from the gold one because they're appropriate. And as we expect, and as we found, it posts well. It actually feels okay considering how heavy everything is. And considering the way of the pen, I think it's a great balance. That section with that little bit of texture to it works well. And yes, it can get slippery over time, but eh, most pens can. But it really is a, a looker in the hand, but I do prefer the black and gold one. Well, I've taken the 1845 silver one apart as much as I want to. I unscrewed the nib assembly so I could flush it with my syringe. And that is a fine nib. Different than the extra fine that I have on the black and gold version. And uh, certainly a plainer looking nib, just a silver tone color, but it goes with the pen. The other thing that's nice is there's a small O-ring down there at the bottom of the section in a little groove. There's uh, thick threads here, kind of like block threads when you screw it into the section. And of course, I put a little silicone grease on the silicone o-ring and a little bit of silicone grease on the threads just because I want to be able to unscrew that if I want to in the future. And the silicone grease facilitates that quite a bit. Here's a section textured exactly like the gold tone one. And again, a nice o-ring. I really appreciate the use of o-rings that I think just give the pen a good solid feel. Now one other difference, this is a branded Hong Dion converter. Very good quality, has that little plastic ball which I'm neither a lover or a fan of, but now nah, we'll leave it in there. Now on the gold and black one, it's more of a generic converter. Certainly do like a nice frosted here in the barrel and a nice branding on the top of the converter. 
again the same quality in this pen that's in the gold one and I didn't mention it but a very nice spring-loaded clip there substantial clip not a piece of folded over uh, steel but a nice solid forged clip a nice feature and of course we have a good branded finial at the top and it's orientated very well with the clip yeah I think we need to ink this up and see how that fine nib writes compared to the extra fine in the black 1845 I couldn't pass up an opportunity to show these two gorgeous pens held up by crabs on a rotating turntable that may produce some background noises but such is life these two pens look great incredibly classic lines designs color schemes you got your bright silver one and you got your more subdued black and gold one but both of them are elegant in their own way and they're both great writers they feel good in the hand I'm just extremely pleased and these color combinations are not unusual well, I mean persona followed up with them and a lot of other metal pens which escape me right now so crab is going to give you a wink and we're going to move on so these pens are reputed to be made with stainless steel so I'll bring my really strong magnet in and it doesn't do anything and just to show you what it does with steel, here is that clip on the Jinhao Centennial 100 and it just, it's attached. So there's no reason for me to doubt that these are made of stainless steel. They certainly are not made of regular steel because that would be magnetic. So I'm going to be adventurous with ink again, but also put in an ink that's similar to the one that's in the black and gold 1845. This is another one of these recent inks I got not really certain who makes it it's in a bottle that's kind of like trommel ink and this ink has a very dark blue glitter in with this interesting blue ink the color card really shows blue and not a lot of glitter the glitter is just very very subtle kind of reminds you of sheen and the Chromatography just shows a lot of blue. Various shades of blue. No water resistance. Interesting is how this is going to work in the fine nib. So you can see how messed up I was. This is not a medium. This is a fine nib. It looks like a medium. I should know better. It has a big F on it. I ordered a fine. And this is definitely an extra fine. You can see the this is almost double the width, line width of the extra fine. So extra fine generally is 0.38 millimeter and fine is 0.5. I would say this is closer to 0.6. And it is wet just like the extra fine and wetter as you would expect for a medium nib. So let's go down to our summation on this pen. So this is the silver one. It feels as good in the hand, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Same dimensions and everything. It's just a question of what you think looks nicer. It certainly does have an interesting play on the lights. I'd give this the same rating. The only reason I would do is I'd drop it to a 9.5 because I like the black and gold one better, but I can certainly learn to love this one. If you've reached the end of this video, Thank you all very much for watching. I hope you find a great pen that you can enjoy and love and write with. So we've reached the end of this video. I hope it finds all of you safe, healthy, and happy. We're going to say bye. Stay tuned. More to come.